Students, this question is based on Lee Chatelier's principle. I will read the question for you. The gases reaction A plus B giving 2C plus D delta H is equal to minus Q kilojoules of energy is most favored at option A high temperature and low pressure option B low temperature and low pressure option C low temperature and high pressure option D high temperature and high pressure before solving the problem I will tell you what is Lee Chatelier's principle Lee Chatelier's principle says that when a stress is applied to the system which is at equilibrium stress I mean change in concentration change in pressure or change in volume if stress is applied to the system which is at equilibrium the system tries to nullify the effect by shifting the equilibrium either in the forward direction or in the backward direction so that it nullifies the effect of the change for example a plus b giving 2c plus d delta h is equal to minus q kilojoules this clearly indicates that the reaction is exothermic in nature if the reaction is exothermic in nature then the forward reaction then the forward reaction will be accompanied by release of heat and hence the temperature of the system increases i'll write it as temperature increases if the forward reaction is exothermic then the backward reaction will be endothermic in nature hence heat will be absorbed and the temperature of the system decreases hence for the given reaction forward reaction is accompanied by increase in temperature and the backward reaction is accompanied by decrease in a temperature we'll just look for the pressures if you carefully examine the equation two moles of gases reactant gives three moles of gases product and pressure is directly proportional to number of moles as a result the forward reaction is accompanied by increase in the number of gases moles which indicates the pressure of the system increases and in the backward reaction three moles of reactants product gives two moles of the reactant hence the backward reaction backward reaction is accompanied by decrease in number of moles hence the pressure of the system decreases guys let's let's go back to that Lee Chatelier's principle when a constraint like change in pressure or change in temperature is applied to the system that is at equilibrium the system tries to nullify the effect that is if I try to if we try to increase the temperature of the system the system tries to decrease the temperature so if it tries to decrease the temperature then the backward reaction will be favored if we try to increase the pressure the system will try to decrease the pressure if it, it wants to decrease the pressure then again it favors the backward reaction yes, the question is the gases reaction is most favored as that is the forward reaction when it is favored if you try if you maintain low temperature then the system tries to increase the temperature and the reaction takes place in a forward direction that is low temperature is required for forward reaction if you maintain low pressure the system will try to increase the pressure and the equilibrium shifts in the direction in which the pressure increases that is if you maintain low pressure the system will try to increase the pressure and the reaction moves in the forward direction hence for this gaseous reaction low temperature and low pressure are required and it is favored at low temperature and low pressure therefore option b is the right answer I will tell you what is conjugate acid base I will discuss the concept of conjugate acid base with the help of an example and then I will tell you how to solve the problem first what is a Bronsted acid or a base according to Laurie Bronsted concept an acid is a substance that donates a proton and a base is a substance that accepts a proton example consider a reaction HCl plus H2O giving H3O plus Cl minus. If you carefully examine this equation, HCl has donated a proton and it has formed Cl minus. 
Hence, in the forward reaction, HCl is an acid. H2O plus has formed H3O plus. That means it has accepted a proton that is denoted by HCl. Hence, in the forward reaction, H2O is a base. If you consider the backward reaction, Cl minus has formed HCl. That means it has accepted a proton. Hence, Cl minus is a base. H3O plus has donated a proton. Hence, H3O plus is an acid. In a forward reaction, HCl donates a proton. HCl is an acid. H2O has accepted a proton, hence it is a base. If you consider the backward reaction, Cl minus is a base and H3O is an, H3O plus is an acid there. Then what is a conjugate acid base pair? It is a pair of acid and a base which differ by a proton. For example, HCl and Cl minus. HCl is an acid, Cl minus is a base. HCl and Cl minus, they differ by a proton, hence HCl and Cl minus are called conjugate acid base pair. Cl minus is conjugate base of HCl and HCl is conjugate acid of Cl minus. If you consider these two, H2O and H3O plus, H2O and H3O plus are conjugate acid base pair. So from this equation, we can come to a conclusion that an acid base pair that differ by a proton are generally referred as conjugate acid base pair. Now the question arises, how to find the conjugate acid when a corresponding base is given and how to find the conjugate base when a corresponding acid is given. Carefully look at the example. HCl is an acid and Cl minus is a conjugate base. So conjugate base contains one proton less than the acid. That means conjugate base can be obtained by removing a proton from an acid. Similarly, H3O plus is a conjugate acid of a H2O, conjugate acid of H2O. Hence, conjugate acid contains one proton more than the base. Hence, conjugate acid can be obtained by adding a proton to the Bronsted base. So, yes, the simple concept is, if you want to write the conjugate acid, add a proton. If you want to write the conjugate base, please remove a proton. Now, we'll go back to the question. Conjugate base of H2O, H, sorry, H2PO4 minus. We want the conjugate base. So conjugate base of H2PO4 minus can be obtained by removing a proton from here. If I remove a proton, I will get HPO4. It is already negatively charged. By removing a proton, you get another negative charge. Hence, it becomes HPO4 2 minus. Hence, option B is the right answer. Mm -hmm.